Hello friends, welcome to Automation Community. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about automatic cutting and polishing machine. So, let's look at the example first. Cut and polish. A machine is used to cut and polish glasses. Push button by pressing and releasing is used to carry on the cutting the glass process, which takes 10 seconds. Then again, on pressing and releasing the same push button for the second time, we will be able to do polishing the glass, which will take place for 50 seconds. So for this example, we will be using normally open contacts as well as normally closed contacts. We will be also using some memory bits. And also, we will be implementing some logic gates like AND, OR. And also, we will be using timers in this example. So, Let's move to EcoStructure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for automatic cutting and polishing machine. I will open EcoStructure Machine Expert Basic. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive as well. That results uploading the application from the controller is unrestricted. And downloading an application to the controller or modifying the application in the controller is unrestricted. So if I keep it active, then Uploading the application from the controller is disabled due to the blank password. That means if we keep it active, we have to set password here. And then, then uploading the application from the controller will be restricted. That means it will need a password. And also, downloading an application to the controller or modifying the application in the controller will be restricted. That is, it will ask for the password that we have put it here. So for now, I will keep it inactive for read protection as well as write protection. And then I will click on apply. So after that, I will go to configuration tab. So here we have to select the logic controller. We have to configure the device in this tab. So here, is a list of different logic controllers. I will be using TM221C24R. I will click on it and then drag it to here. Do you want to replace TM221M16RG by TM221C24R? You may lose some features and associated configuration. So I want to replace it. So I will click on yes. So here is a device description about TM221C24R. That is, it has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, 1 serial line port, and 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. So after that, I can also go to serial line, where I will select protocol as. TMH2GDB. 
I can also set it as Modbus ASC II TMS 2GDB or Modbus Serial IO Scanner. I will keep it TMS 2GDB for now. And then I will click on Apply. So if I keep protocol as TMS 2GDB, then there is no need to, up to set the serial line settings. So after that, I will click on Programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram. So I will click on this option to set a full screen mode and then zoom into it like this. So firstly, I will insert one normally open contact and I will assign address to it as I 0, 0.0. I will also add symbol to it as push button yes and then i will insert a coil and i will assign address to the coil as m0 which is a memory width and then i will latch it here so i will insert one more normally open contact here and i will connect it like this so I will assign address to this normally open contact same as this memory bit that is M0. So when push button is pressed, M0 will turn on and when it is released, M0 still remains on. And then I will add one more rung here and I will insert normally open contact. I will assign address to it as M0 and then I will insert one more uh, normally closed contact and I will assign address to it as I 0, 0.0 which is the push button and then I will insert a coil and I will assign address to the coil as M1 which is again a memory bit and then I will add it here so I will insert one more normally open contact and then I will connect it like this and then I will assign address to this normally open contact as M1 so when M0 is on that is when push button is pressed and released then the push button should be released and then M1 will turn on and it will remain on. And then I will add a new rung here and we will use this M1 to carry on the cutting process. So I will insert one normally open contact. And then a coil. We'll assign address to this normally open contact, same as this memory bit that is M1. And then I will assign address to the coil as Q0.0. I will also add symbol to it as cutting. That will be something like cutter or anything else that will carry on the cutting process. And then yes. So the cutting process should be done for 10 seconds only. So for that, we will use a functional block timer and insert it here. The timer should be TP, that is pulse timer. I will change time base to 1 second and reset value as 10 and then apply. So when push button is pressed, then M0 will be on, and when M0 is on and push button is released, then M1 will turn on and it will remain on. If the states 
of these inputs will change but m1 will still remain on so this m1 is storing the data that push button was pressed and then released that the push button was once pressed and released and which in turn this m1 will turn on the cutter so this m1 will carry on the cutting process and it will work for 10 seconds and also for second press we will add a new rank here and then i will insert a normally open cut tag and i will assign address to it as m1 so this m1 is storing the push button was once pressed and then again there should be second press so we will insert one more normally open contact for push button and i will assign address to it as i 0, 0.0 which is a push button and then i will insert a coil I will assign address to the coil as M2, which is again memory bit. So when M1 will be true, this M1 will get true when push button is once pressed and released. And then after after the first press, then again when push button tur will turn on, that is when it is again pressed, then M2 will turn on. And we will latch it here. So I will insert one more normally open contact to latch it. So I will connect it like this. And I will assign address to the contact as M2. So for release, that is, the polishing process should be should start. When the push button is second time pressed and then released after releasing the process should start so here it is only pressed but the process should start after releasing the push button so we for that we will add a new rank and for that i will insert a normally open contact and that will be m2 and then i will insert normally close contact that is push button should be false that is push button should have been released so i will assign address to it as i 0.0, .0. and i will insert a coil here and I will assign address to it as M3, which is again a memory bit. So this memory bit is storing the data that M2 is true, that is, the push button was once pressed and then released, and for the second time it is it was pressed. And this push button will be false when the push button is released, and then only M3 will become true. So we will uh, latch M3 here. So we will insert one more normally open contact here and connect it like this. So I will assign address to this normally open contact as M3. So if the states of these inputs will change, but M3 will remain true. And we will use this memory bit M3 to carry on the polishing process. So for that, I will add a new rank here and insert a normally open contact. And I will assign address to it as M3. And then I will insert a coil for the polishing process and I will assign address to the coil as Q 0.1. And then I will also add symbol to it as polishing.
So that means there will be some actuators that will do the polishing, that will carry on the polishing process. But this polishing process should be activated for 15 seconds only. So for that, <coughs> we will use a functional block timer for the process of polishing and that should be TP, that is pulse timer. And I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 50 and then click on apply. So, when push button is pressed, M0 will get on and when M0 get on and then push button is released, then M1 will remain true. And when M1 will be true, the cutting process will start and it will operate for 10 seconds only. After that, it will stop. So, when push button is <coughs> once pressed and released, then push button is again pressed. Then M2 will become true and when M2 become true and then the same push button is released, then M3 will remain on. M3 will remain true. And when M3 will become true, then the process of polishing will start and it will start after M3 will become true. And the polishing will be done for 15 seconds only. And after that, it will stop. So, I will exit full screen mode and then I will compile the program. And then I will go to commissioning and launch simulator. And then I will start controller. You are about to launch the controller. To do so, click OK. So I will go to programming and click on full screen. So when push button is pressed, M0 will get true. And when M0 is true, then the push button, when I release the push button, M1 becomes true. And when M1 becomes true, the process of cutting will start and it will cut <coughs> the object for 10 seconds. After that, it will stop. As M1 is already true, that it is storing that the push button was once pressed and released. It is storing that data and as a result, it is true. And then when push button is pressed, when push button is pressed, then M2 becomes true and here M2 is true, then push button should be off. So when I turn off, that is when I release the push button, the current will flow through it and M3 becomes true. And when M3 becomes true, the polishing process will start and it will operate for 15 seconds. So after 15 seconds, the process will stop. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.